Hello, my name is John Ede, and I am president and director of portfolio strategies at Argus Research Company. Argus Research is an independent investment research firm based in New York City. Today, I'm going to share our firm's eight fundamental forecasts for 2021. Argus is a top-down research firm, which means we start our forecasts looking at the US economy and global economy, drill down to interest rates and sectors, and then finally to our, our top stock picks. So let's get on to the charts and the forecasts. The first set of forecasts I'm gonna talk about are our outlook for US GDP. And you can see that on the slide that the recent GDP trends have been very volatile here in the US with 30% growth in the third quarter after a 30% decline in GDP in the second quarter. We think these numbers are gonna smooth out into 2021 um, and, and be more normal growth along the lines of three to 4%. We think the US economy is still in a recession. It's still smaller than it was prior to the pandemic, but by the end of 2021, we do think the US economy will have completed a round trip and will be back and in a growth mode. A lot of that depends on the employment situation in the US. And you can see in our unemployment chart that unemployment had been very low prior to the pandemic here in the US, about three and a half percent. It jumped over 14% and has come back down pretty significantly and is now about 7%, just below 7%. It's still higher than it was prior to the pandemic. Um, we expect by the end of 2021, the unemployment rate will be down closer to 5%. Uh, the Fed, Federal Reserve here in the US wants unemployment back down closer to 4%, and we think they will keep interest rates low until they get there. Uh, we're looking real quickly at the housing market. That's a big support for the US economy. Uh, houses are selling fast, prices are holding up, Inventories are low. It's a, a plank in our bullish platform for the US economy. Another bullish signal has been the trend in the US dollar. The dollar had been at all time highs, which made it very difficult for US exporters, uh, but the dollar has been drifting lower in recent months. And that's gonna be a tailwind for the export segment of the US economy. Let's move on to our interest rate outlook. I mentioned that the Federal Reserve um, is looking to keep interest rates low. In our first chart, we're looking at the federal funds target rate. That's back down to zero. The Fed moved there very quickly in 2020. We don't expect any federal funds rate hikes until at least 2022 or perhaps longer. Low rates at the short end for sure. Uh, our second chart here is the Federal Reserve balance sheet. And you can see that the Fed has taken out a lot of debt to backstop various credit markets. It is buying mortgage-backed bonds. It is buying corporate bond ETFs. That's keeping the financial markets functioning. Um, this is part of the quantitative easing that the Federal Reserve is doing to keep the economy uh, moving forward, stabilizing, and ultimately moving forward. The Fed is typically worried about inflation and we don't see much of a problem with inflation here. Let's move on to our earnings and market valuations now. We expect to see S&P 500 earnings recover, uh, again, like GDP back to all time highs by the end of this next year. On our S&P 500 valuation model, we see that stocks have been a little bit above fair value but we're not worried about that because interest rates are very low and bond yields are, are well below fair value. So stocks are the better value here. As for segments, we expect large cap stocks to continue to do well in 2021. We think growth will outperform value as it has for the past five years. And we favor US stocks over international stocks. So let me wrap up by sharing our overall forecast for US stocks in 2021. We think the S&P 500 is gonna have a good year, expand 10 to 15% driven by the strong earnings growth and low interest rates and recovery in US GDP.